This video is brought to you by Dragers International Classic Sales in Seattle, Washington. 77 Dodge pickup, nice truck. And this trailer, it's almost brand new. I think it's 2012 and it was used to go back east and back and they put new tires on it after they did. So uh, it's got new tires on it and the thing is real clean and nice. See the 77 Dodge just pulls this trailer just real easy. This side of the trailer is uh, real nice. I don't see any, and I don't see any spots anywhere in here or any damage where anything's leaned against it or anything. I think you'll find it. Everything looks real good. And I forgot to mention we have the the uh, rock guard here goes all the way across too, so that helps keep it from getting chipped. As you can see, this rock guard goes all the way across here, and uh, this whole front of this trailer looks all real good across here. And also, there is no spare tire with this trailer, so you may want to add a spare tire at some point in time. Now, I measured the tongue on this thing. Something that's really important to think about, a lot of them are only come to about here, they're short. And you know, a short tongue does not work if you're gonna pull it behind a mortar home. This one is marginal. You want a really a four foot tongue, and four feet is to about here, so this is about uh, three and a half feet uh, on the tongue, probably a little little more than that. Uh, so you, you want to keep that in consideration, but it's longer than most tongues. And of course, you got the hand crank here, and this is your battery backup for the uh, brakes and the deal, and you got the good chains on here. Like I say, this thing is uh, it's a 2012 trailer, so it's like brand new. Now, I, I tell you, this trailer, again, is a 2012 trailer, and it's brand new, basically. It was used to go to the East Coast and back, and, of course, you got a good door on here and everything, uh, and it's all brand new, but when he got back, he put brand new tires on it. Well, you know, it's only like probably uh, 5,000 miles round trip on it or so. Anyway, he put new tires, so the thing is brand new. Uh, right here... There's a little bit of a indentation right there uh, on it. Other than that, I don't see too much on it. Dirt and stuff, everything else looks good. There's a couple of marks right up there, but nothing, nothing major. Now the back end of this uh, got a nice uh, look to it. I mean, it, I like the color combination. Of course, it would match my motorhome, so that's probably one of the reasons I like it. And bring it down right here. There's a handle right here to grab a hold of. You can bring this down. Watch out, Woody. See, and then you got a little flap here to drive up on. And this this is uh, dovetailed also, so from back, right up there down, it's dovetailed. Now you can see it's not insulated on the roof, and it, and it's paneled on the sides, of course. And we have tie downs up here. This is a 20 foot trailer so it's uh, it's on the small size uh, and a lot of people like the 20 foot trailer you have a light here and there's another light back there in the back and you can see it's real clean we actually painted the deck on here because it had a little bit of oil stain on it it was just real easy to paint it and be done with it we've actually used this trailer a couple of times works great I forgot to mention we have two tie downs here uh, right there so it, you got all four tie downs for tying a car down so once your car is loaded it's real easy to uh, put this up just flip that over and the tailgate goes up real easily it's got a, a spring helper on there so you get it on there and then just pull these over lock it down then you can put a padlock in here and you can see we got the clearance lights these are good uh, this holds this door good and solid this way 
This, most of these trailers, are torsion bar uh, axles, this one, this one actually has leaf springs, and you can see the rocker joint right there between the two. So it's got, it's actually a lot better than a uh, torsion bar sometimes. Torsion bars, if you crank a trailer back too hard, you can uh, tweak the axles on them, and you won't have that problem with the leaf springs. On behalf of my father, Jerry, and myself, I hope you enjoyed our video and got a better feel for what this vehicle is all about and its overall condition. Thanks, Andrew and Woody. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed our video, and if you ever come to Seattle, we'd really like to have you come in and see Drager's Clubhouse. You can see some of the things we have here. We do motorcycles and, and all sorts of stuff, and we have a great time here. And Drager's Clubhouse is just one of those fun places. Everybody would like to have one like this. Drager's, 206-533-9600.